Hey guys, I'm joined by my friend Jeremy for another uh, movie review. Say hi, Jeremy. Hi. After we talk about the Monster Mania trip of uh, meeting Sam Raimi, we want to talk about Darkman by Sam Raimi. What did you think of uh, Darkman, what Sam Raimi did? I thought it was very good. I know, right, wasn't it? Yeah. In a way, it was like a homage to like, comic book movies, a little bit of like Universal Monsters, and other like classic horror films, too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw this, I was amazed at how, like, this was, like, not a, uh, it was, it was basically, a, like, a comic book film, but only, like, one that he made up, Sam Raimi, it wasn't, like, you know, based on anything, it was just something he made up that was so, like, original, and, because originally he, like, after, like, his success with the Evil Dead films, he wanted to make a comic book film, but studios would not allow him to make a Batman film or The Shadow, which I'm surprised, one would think for, like, Evil Dead that he could have, like, gotten, like, permission to make a Batman film at the time. And especially like Sam Raimi is a huge uh, comic book fan. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm watching this, thinking to myself, this guy was rejected for a Batman film. It's like, what the hell is wrong with the studios? <laughs> yeah. What did you think of like the performances of like uh, Liam Neeson and Francis? Oh, he McDonough? was great. Yeah. You know, he did a great job. Larry Drake was also very good as one of the villains. Right, he was. Yeah. They all did a great job. Like the opening, like felt also felt like like a nineteen uh, like forties or fifties, like something like film noir, like out of a Humphrey Bogart or James Cagney film to some degree. Yeah, yeah. And also, you can tell like this was sort of a little bit of a love letter to like Universal monsters, like the way like the design of like Liam Neeson's uh, Darkman looks like a little bit like Phantom of the Opera, a little bit. Yeah. Or did you ever, did you ever see House of Wax? Yeah, I've seen it. The movie reminded me of that to some degree, but the only difference is, like, when his lab has exploded, instead of wax figures, he was trying to create, like, some kind of, uh, way to, cr like, like, some kind of, like, medicine to, like, uh, cure, like, scars and, like, skin diseases and stuff like that, but then mm -hmm. the lab explodes, and yeah. after that accident, he's, like, not the same person, his, like, face is all damaged up, and mm -hmm. he's, like, basically, like, never that, not the same person after the accident. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing his body recovering the hospital and wearing the bandages remind me a little bit of a combination between the Frankenstein's monster and a little bit of the mummy. Like, don't you just, like, love the ending, like, well, not to get into spoilers ahead, like, how, like, even if he, like, could, like, find a formula to fix his face, but it won't be the same because it's only, like, a temporary fix, and I just love that, like, dialogue, Peyton is gone, I'm now dark man. Yeah, like, walks great. walks out in the alley, blends in with his side, like, he'd be anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Bruce Campbell's cameo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Originally, he wanted Bruce Campbell for this part, but the studios would not allow it because he wasn't that big of a high profile, like, like the way Liam Neeson is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I also, like, like the uh, the helicopter chase scene. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the movie had a lot of great action sequences. It did. I also, like, love it, like, how the way, like, he tricks the villains and, like, where he tries to, like, you know, pretend to be, like, one of the yeah. henchmen gangsters. Then he's, like, tricking the, like, you know, like, not knowing who the real one is. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Or especially, like, how, like, when uh, he tricks one of the, ga the, one of the uh, ga gang criminal side henchmen thinking that, that, like, uh, toy uh, thing that, like, goes up and down. But it was a hologram and the real one was right across him and too late to see the connection. Yeah. Yeah. Really, just uh, it's just an amazing film. Like Sam Raimi is just a really like talented guy. And, yeah, he really is. Yeah, and like after that, like, at least like even though he was rejected a few times for a superhero film, at least he did the Spider-Man films a few years later and yeah. a decade later. And in recent years, in 2022, he directed the uh, sequel to Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Despite having not kept up with the recent Marvel Cinematic Universe since post Endgame. I will like to check this movie out for curiosity. Plus, it's Sam Raimi. He never fails me. Can't go wrong. Yeah. And, like, it's funny. Like, this is... Remember how Liam Neeson played Ra's al Ghul in Batman? Yes. You would say maybe this could have been, like, his first comic book film, semi-comic book film at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And also, because of this movie's success, they made, like, uh, comic books to this character after the success of uh, mm -hmm. Darkman. Yeah, and I know they did like uh, like where they had crossovers of like Ash and Darkman, but I didn't read those comics. Right? Yeah. Did, did you ever read like a uh, Evil Dead comic books? Or no, I didn't I think so. Them. I'd like to check those out at some point. They sound pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And anything Evil Dead is great. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to touch upon this film that comes to mind? Or uh, I don't know. It's just a great action movie. It's a great revenge movie. It is. Um, and a sad tragedy of, like, yes. a character who was 
a regular guy trying to create like a scientific formula to, to cure skin diseases or skin scars, but everything all ends in tragedy for him after an accident. He's not the same person after that. Uh, yeah, and uh, also the makeup effects are very good. Oh, they are. I think they hold up pretty well today for the 90s. Yeah. Because I'm thinking to myself, they did this today, but I'll be CGI. Yeah. Sad world we live in today's modern day filmmaking where it's all CGI because of expenses. I agree. Yeah. I also, uh, you know, in a way, it also had like a little bit of humor. Like every Sam Raimi humor like has comedy. Where, like when he's like trying to figure out like how can he like cure himself. He's like, what am I a freak show? Then he's like dancing or <laughs> like something out of like a Three Stooges in some ways. But then again, Sam Raimi is a huge fan of the Three Stooges. That's where like his inspiration of like slapstick comes in. Right. Or I thought it was funny, the helicopter, when he crashed into a building, he goes, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, don't make this guy angry. Give him the pink elephant next time. Love this movie a lot. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then, like, re-watching it recently after meeting Sam Raymond, I'm like, I forgot, damn, this is a damn good movie. Yeah. Yeah. And also, this time, this is, like, his first, like, um, budget film, like, before, like, the Evil Dead films were like low budget films, whereas this was like his first like big uh, blockbuster movie and big mm -hmm. uh, Hollywood budget film. He was hired by a studio, right? Yeah, and he did a darn good job. It just shows how talented he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I end this video, here's a recording that me and my dad did, and sorry if I'm repeating myself. You already heard my thoughts about Dark Man from Jeremy already. What's your thoughts on Dark Man? Well, I think it really shows. Uh the talents of um, Sam Raimi, even though he was unknown at the time. And uh, it really uh, gives an idea of the kind of director he would be and that he would be very successful. You know, he made up this character on his own and the story, character, direction, is all, they're all very, very interesting. And it's, it's worth checking out. What would you think of Liam Neeson in the movie? Well, Liam Neeson, I'm I'm a big fan of his. He's he's a terrific actor, and I, th I thought he did a great job. Right. I also felt like the movie was like a, a tribute of, like, you know, comic books and uh, superheroes. And also, like, this was like an original idea, like you said. It was not based on any, like, uh, comic books at the time because originally... As I'm watching this movie and Evil Dead, I say to myself, this guy was rejected for a Batman film. I mean, like... Right. Right. So, I mean, he was rejected, and so he said, well, I'm going to make up my own character. <laughs> well, it worked out very well in and the end. it did. It yeah, did. Yeah, mm -hmm. it did. Mm -hmm. Also, like, it's like a, would you say it also, like, reminds you a little bit of, like, House of Wax a little bit to some degree? But, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but with, it's with the disfigure, disfigurement, yeah, yes. Yeah, instead of uh, House of Waxes, it was, like, some kind of formula he was trying to create to create um, a cure for, like, skin diseases or skin, uh, like, uh, scars, but... Right. It all just uh, gets destroyed after the accident. Mm -hmm. It even reminded me a little bit of like Phantom of the Opera to some degree. Yeah, it did. When, you know, like the dark images or like when he's like hiding from people. I'm thinking a little Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I think he took uh, elements of uh, different things and, uh, you know, came up with this character. Right. Even like the opening felt like a 1940s like film noir type of film, like something out of... Uh, Bogart and Cagney film to some degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great film. It's just something, uh, like you said, Sam Riz just shows how Sam Raimi was going to be in the future for, like, as a talented filmmaker. Right. Yeah. He, hey, I don't know if you know, there were two sequels to this movie. Yeah. 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 They were direct to video. Yeah. I don't, you didn't see those, did you? No. Yeah. Me neither. It's like, do we really need sequels to this? Or are they just made for money after that? Where Sam Raimi, well, I read that he was sort of like the producer, but he probably had very little involvement with the uh, sequels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about this movie? Or... No, I think we covered it all. All right. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and see you next time.